did you think IQ was put into the uh, did you think IQ was putting his teammates into the best positions to score? And if he was not, would that have affected Obi out there on the court? Um, yeah, I think it, it affected Obi on the court. Uh, you know, he he should have a little more of a relationship with Obi than maybe some of the other kids coming out of uh, Q. But um, again, I think Q's statistics in the summer league were a little misleading where he almost had eight assists. Uh, he plays with such... Uh, you know, in a chaotic manner when he plays, that a lot of times during this past season, people are like, man, did you see IQ look off, you know, RJ and look off other players or Obi? You had them all alone. And there's times um, that I don't think he looked them off as much as he didn't see him. And that's mm. why I still look at uh, quickly. I think quickly is at his best when he is a shooting guard. You know, where it would a D Rose penetrating, kicking it out, and he's a great catch and shoot, you know, um, play a shooter. You know, that's that's his his specialty. So uh, I thought that whether Obi or getting other guys, you know, he made some nice assists and stuff. But I uh, I had major issues with uh, Q during the summer league, man. Um, you want to get into it now, or you want to go over the stats? And I think that says a lot. Jumps right off the page. IQ. Uh, played most of the time as the starting point guard. He had averages of 20.2 points per game. He averaged 3.8 rebounds per game, averaged 7.8 assists per game, uh, 1.4 steals. He had a pretty high turnover per game amount at 2.4. And his shooting percentages, I think, were a little troublesome to me. You know, he finally got the keys to the offense, and he went out there and shot 34% from the field, 24% from three, which is an area we're going to need him to be deadly this upcoming season, and he was able to shoot 91% from the free throw line. Yeah, so, you know, the the free throw, free throw line is, you know, pretty much automatic with him, and he got to the, he got to the stripe around, uh, let's see, he got a little under seven times a game, which is really, really good, but like you said, he shot 24%, he shot 53s, he shot 89 times in total, 53s, and then 39 twos, so he shot terrible, not only from three, but also regular field goal percentage for him to have a 34%. You know, the thing that upset me the most about watching Quick is that I wanted to see uh, the development of a mid-range game. I don't want to see 15-foot floaters. And he's still putting up these long floaters. Um, you know, I wanted, you know, I, I know he went to the, the USA Select and everything, I was just hoping that he was practicing mid-range, and I was hoping that he was in the weight room getting stronger. So, um, you know, that concerned me that his shooting, uh, both on three and twos, uh, was below league average. And then um, what concerned me more, and I saw it during the, the regular season, and then it carried over into summer league on certain rotations, he had a seven-footer come out on him on uh, the three-point line, couldn't take him off the dribble or didn't want to, or invariably he fakes left, goes right, dribbles a couple of times, stops, and either he does a step back three or he keeps dribbling and puts his hand up, asks the, his center to come up and set, a, set that screen again and resets again, and there goes 10, 15 seconds off the clock. So um, I, I really, uh, you know, he has to work on his handles. He doesn't have the greatest first step quick. So if he can't take guys, especially a seven-foot guy in the summer league off the dribble, folks, we got an issue here. So uh, I still think that, you know, again, it, it's very difficult to look good, you know, whether him or a couple of guys, uh, Deuce, a couple of times he was in a rotation of Rokas and Luca and uh, Deuce at the same time. You know, who's doing what? You know, so I give that to quickly, but shooting should not be impacted um, you know, he's supposed to be a sniper. I want to see him being a sniper, but I wanted to see growth. And if I didn't, you know, I don't want to see his hair flailing and trying to draw a foul. I want him to, uh, you know, on defense, you watch him on defense. He has terrible balance. A guy fakes left and you see him, his whole body, his body, his momentum gets him out of position. He's in, he's in bad, he has bad, um, uh, you know, uh, he overruns and his, his balance is just really off all the time. You know, you watch him versus Deuce uh, on defense. It's just two different, you know, one looks real comfortable laterally and one looks, 
You know, if a guy makes it, he's out of, out, you know, he's behind the play wall all of a sudden. And he was taken to, he wasn't strong enough to stop people going to the hole last year. I wanted to see, and it's very difficult again in the summer league, but I just didn't see the growth. You know, if you look at Quick, he had three threes. He had three twos, you know, three uh, two-pointers. He's at the foul line. So he has 20 points. So you're like, hey, man, he scored 20 points. It's the summer league, folks. You know, uh, you saw what happened at the end of the year. Those floaters weren't going in. And so uh, so what did our guy Julian Blum say? I don't like it either with the floaters in the mid-range. And must, that must, that's what uh, McBride has over him. Julian, we're going to get into that, my brother, <laughs> uh, in, in a couple of minutes. But I could not agree any more, man. Uh, so, hey, you want to take a quick second and just say hi to our, our folks in the, in the chat? Yeah, definitely. Want to shout out Michael Jones. Yeah. He's saying quickly can be a shooter at the point guard spot if the Knicks have playmakers at other positions. Uh, I still think Emmanuel quickly can produce and, be, and become a legitimate point guard. So I think he can still, you know, find him and play make for others. It's just like Foxy, what you were saying. It's going to be difficult playing with some of these guys that you're just getting, you know, acclimated. Exactly. So. Yeah. It, it wasn't the perfect environment for IQ to really show his prowess as a point guard. But I, I think as we see him more and more, there are some things that are a little bit concerning, like his ability to go left, his ability to be a three-level scorer, and also his vision. So the jury for me is still out on whether or not Emmanuel quickly can actually be a point guard. But Foxy, I'd like to know from you, from what you've seen from IQ here in Summer League, do you think he has the, the, the tools to be a point guard and he's just not able to put it together right now or do you think he'd be better off just forget about trying to play the one worry about being off ball and be the best that you can be at that position i think the latter i think he's a he's a classic combo you know some of the the point guards we see some of their skills are from god they're you know they, they just see the court a different way than other people and i think quickly will get better and like you said familiarity he'll know the spots of his guys you know, uh, you know, I th with lobs, he, you know, he made some really nice pass. He made a beautiful bounce pass in the summer league for streaking Grimes and a few other players. So I think he has the talent, but I think he's going to be this generation's point guard rather than a classic. He's going to be a, a, a classic combo guard, shooting guard who has playmaking skills. But it comes back to Tibbs again. Uh, quickly last season um, shot um, only 6% of his shots came at the rim. And that's not a Tibbs type of point guard. You know, you know, we everybody couldn't stand Alfred. Um, but the, this is the weird thing about Peyton. Peyton was an elite getting to the rim player. Literally, he was a couple of years ago second behind Zion and one before RJ, but second in the league getting to the rim. But as we know, finishing and getting to the rim are two different things. But Quick only gets to the rim 6% of the time. And that, you know, you know, you watched the first uh, uh, press conferences last year with Tibbs, uh, and he was saying his ideal point guard is a guy who penetrates. If they collapse, he kicks it out, and or or he gets to the, you know, scores or he gets to the line. Um, if you're only getting to the the rim six percent of the time, that's not really a Tibbs point guard. So uh, it'll be interesting to see as he matures, but. I think, like I said, I, I see I, when I saw him at his best is with D Rose and D Rose doing taking the pressure off him, and allowing him to you know ro you know do his rotations and Rose would penetrate and if they collapsed they kicked it out the quickly and he hit that three beautifully and you know and I think that's where his strength is you know I think there's too much on his mind if he has to do the point guard i think he'll do playmaking from a combo side uh from the two side more naturally than than him having to be the point guard mm. so with how, with the depth that we have at this team at the guard position how many minutes are you expecting emmanuel quickly to average heading into uh, as we go through next season do you think he'll be over 22 minutes per game or under 22 minutes a game? Because I put that poll down in the chat just to see exactly what you guys are, are thinking or what you're expecting for uh, Emmanuel quickly heading into next season. Yeah, I'm looking under. Uh, mm. Under. I, I'm looking at um, 
if you look at the roster, it, it, I think all of it depends on Kemba and D Rose's health. If they're healthy, um, out of 48 minutes at the point guard spot, you know, I think they're going to be taking up maybe 43 of those minutes between Kemba and D Rose. So maybe Quick will get five minutes on the point guard side there. If he, you know, and and uh, most of his minutes, I think, are going to come at shooting guard. Uh, you know, maybe giving, you know, uh, RJ averaged uh, around 30, a little over 34 minutes last year. Maybe cut him down by one minute, 33 minutes at shooting guard and maybe 15. So I'm looking for him maybe to have, you know, 19, 20 minutes, uh, five or so at the point guard position and around 15 at the shooting guard position. Uh-huh. Uh-huh.